Ed, CES 2017, South Hall. Um, I'm going to have a very quick wander around, and it has to be quick because we have further appointments in the afternoon elsewhere. Uh, and let's see what we can find on the floor that's of any interest. It is probably just as well that this company has supplied someone to demonstrate this treadmill because um, I have to be honest, uh, I think most of the people visiting the show as exhibitors, uh, journalists, etc., would die. Um, it's also worth pointing out that this lady isn't by any stretch of the imagination the most scantily dressed person here. Uh, right, at the time I'm recording this, the uh, show's been open for uh, a mighty 19 minutes. And it's clearly a little bit much for this lot. Um, I'm sure every single one of these people is diligently considering selling, reviewing, or in some way promoting the use of these mash ass chairs. Absolutely none of them is being a lazy bastard. No siree Bob. Uh, one of the things that's becoming increasingly clear about wandering around CES 2017 is that wireless speakers are a big deal, but because the world and his wife is now making a wireless speaker, it's just becoming a competition as to who can make one that exploits a niche that no other bugger's got around to doing yet. So what you see here is the Aqua Tank. Now that sounds really exciting if nothing else, but this is a buoyant wireless waterproof speaker. So um, you know you can take it on holiday, have it bobbing around in the pool, or uh, I don't know, have it in your bath with you. Um, I've got to be honest, this is one of those things where uh, I can't see that this is filling a gaping hole in my life, but my god, you've got to admire them for trying. Um, of course, um, one of the big pulls of the show, as it has been for the last couple of years, are drones. Uh, drones are absolutely everywhere. I'm um, filming this one because it's a DJI drone, DJI, I should say. Same as the people that make this Osmo camera that I'm filming on. Um, but they are everywhere. What is um, quite telling is that uh, when I was at IFA a couple of years ago, the big deal was um, having lots of drones inside these sort of cages uh, doing all sorts of clever displays. And it looked really impressive, but every sort of fourth or fifth demonstration, they, one of them would suddenly develop a mind of its own and fly into all the others. And it was absolutely spectacular, but I don't believe in the way that the manufacturers of the drones were hoping for. So very much uh, part of uh, CES 2017 is that uh, each drone is generally uh, on its top this year, uh, rather than um, part of a team. So yeah, um, more massage chairs. I'm not doing quite such a roaring trade with these ones, although, as you can see, there are uh, some people just over there. Uh, they're really working very, very hard at this point. Um, drones and massage chairs. Forget audio. That's, um, that's where we need to be, I'm afraid, um, apparently. I'm shocked and saddened to report that um, Tony Stark has fallen on hard times because uh, I'm here on the Mar Mar Marvel sorry, themed uh, section of uh, a particular manufacturer's stand and uh, it would appear that uh, his uh, weapon of choice these days is the mm. magnificent Renault Twizy. Uh, uh, I'm not 100% sure, I don't know about anyone else, that uh, someone in a full suit of armour who can fly is necessarily going to need one of these. But um, on the other side, I suppose... Uh, this is one of the uh, cleaner and greener vehicles that I've uh, seen since I sat foot in Nevada, so uh, there is that. Uh, right, I don't know quite how this is going to come out uh, on the actual thing itself. This device is uh, printing or engraving, I don't know which is a technically more accurate description, onto wood. And what is coming off it is absolutely outstanding. Um, I know this is not strictly within the remit of AV forums, but bloody hell, that's really cool. Buried in the virtual reality area is, um, to my mind, what is still the only likely long-term use for it. Uh, for those of you who live a clean and wholesome lifestyle, North America uh, deals with uh, adult situations. And um, I would go in, but I'm pretty sure that uh, there's a camera around here somewhere. 
and uh, the sight of you emerging from there is going to put you on some sort of register. I would also say that there's a good six to eight hundred percent increase in people with ponytails inside that room um, and they make me deeply uneasy. But yes, don't worry, porn is here. Meanwhile, back at uh, Massage Chair HQ, um, yeah, they're uh, still working their bollocks off. Right then, um, we all know that uh, Withers lives in uh, the mid 18th century, down in, uh, in the West Country, and the great news is I have found the perfect AP speakers for him. Are you ready? You sure? You sure, sure? Check this out. Suspend your disbelief. Um, now, if like me, you think that Steve needs a set of these bad boys in his life, for goodness sake, make your feelings known on the site and um, make this magnificent set of speakers known to a wider audience because Withers needs needs these speakers in his in, in his room. They are exactly exactly what his living quarters uh, required. And you know, it's not like he can claim that they aren't um, you know up to spec. We've got diffused rears, and I'm sure I'm sure we could get a set of upward fires done in this. Um, lavishly magnificent decor that they uh, are finished in, which is not in any way, shape or form plastic. No siree, Bob. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, presented without comment. Okay, if you don't think that's quite cool, we can't be friends anymore truck simulator in an actual truck. Uh, I struggled to find house room for it, but uh, I'm not going to say I wouldn't quite like one. Now this is, this is actually quite interesting. Um, I don't do the television stuff, as you know, that's, uh, it's far too complicated for me and I like record players, but I'm not blind no pun intended, to this uh, brightness wall, talking about lumens and nits. And up here, uh, on the upper floor of the South Hall, is, um, if you like, the, uh, the uh, sort of fallout to that. You've got uh, Reticare, who are promoting glasses that protect your uh, eyes from uh, the uh, savagery of incredibly bright HDR pictures. Um, you know, I'm a bit route one on this, I can't help but think it might be easier just to um, not watch the HDR pictures, but it's this, um, yeah, it's, it gets you thinking, doesn't it? Um, you know, you're all, all pushing for uh, 2,000 nits and the ability to burn your shadow onto the wall, and uh, yeah, just think about what that's doing to your eyes. If teenagers ever find out about this, I think civilization as we know it will come to an end. Meanwhile, massage chair update. Uh, lots of committed buyers still in situ. Tough job. Right then, well that was uh, my brief but illuminating visit to the South Hall. Uh, I'm heading back to the Venetian now where I've got to do, actually do more things pertaining to hi-fi and you know, why I'm actually here and things like that. But uh, I hope you found some parts of it uh, at least mildly interesting. <laughs>